Hello and welcome to this short video on extending out web source modules using SQL in Oracle Apex. So I have this Google Books API which returns the first 10 results based on the search term that we put in. So I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to go across to Application Builder. So I have this simple little application called Books and I'm just going to go into Shared Components, Web Source Modules, Create from scratch, give it a name, Google Books, paste in the URL, click on next, bakes up the base URL and the service URL path, click next. I don't need any authentication because of the fact it's a public API. And so we'll just discover it. And let's create that web source. Now at this point, I need to make one small change to this web source. You'll see that it's already created this parameter here for me called query string variable and it's actually got the value that we sent across application express and I need to edit that. What I need to do is just use for row search that needs to be switched on, apply those changes and now we're ready to actually add a page in and I'm going to add in an interactive report based on that web source. Okay. Just give it a navigation menu entry. Instead of selecting a local database table, I'm going to select web source, Google Books, and just create it. So before anything, let's just go and have a look at the base web source that we're utilizing. So there's a number of columns in here. I actually want to get rid of most of them, except for the title and the language leave the subtitle in, page count's good, and we'll just go down to here and remove the rest. Okay, so let's have a look at our new uh, report here, and you'll see that we've got the title and the language, but the language is in EN, and so what I'm going to do is I want to go and edit this page. And if I go across to my object browser, then you'll see I have this table called languages and there's two columns, language code and name. And I can use this to translate that two letter code into the actual language name itself. So let's go back to the builder and we're just gonna click on the query here. And then this is something very unique to Apex that we can incorporate local post processing. I'm gonna select the SQL query and then you'll see it's actually added the SQL query for the report here. I'm just going to edit that with the code editor. And then key thing is I want to link in the local table. So I want the lang name. And then I need to join the table. And it's called languages. Where the lang code from languages equals languages from the web source. Just validate that it's, and you'll see that that's successful. And then we'll go ahead and run the page. And you'll see that we now have this extra column. I'll just quickly move it up so that it's next to the language column. So we can see these are in English. If I put in a new search term, for example, Deutschland, you'll see that some of these books are in German and some are in English. So this video shows you just how easily you can extend out web sources by utilizing SQL. In this case, I connected a local table and used the results to improve the data that I was displaying to my end users. Thank you very much.